Hello, Georgie. Welcome to another edition of Five Bit Show Theater. Theater. What are we going to see today, Georgie? I don't know. Well, first of all, let me go ahead and introduce myself. My name is Francois. Francois. And I am Georgie's friend. And we are going to see a show today. And you are a puppet. I am a puppet. Now, I am what's called a puppet. The show today is going to be. And I'm a puppet too. You're not a puppet, you're a little boy. We're going to see a show that features a marionette. Marionette. That sounds so French, doesn't it, Georgie? Marionette. <laughs> so the show we're going to see today is called Howdy Doody. Doody. It was a very famous show from the 1950s that ran all the way to the 1960s. It featured Howdy Doody with a marionette and Bop below Bop. And there's a clown on here. It's kind of scary. I think the clowns kind of scare me. Don't they scare you? And, and, and his friend is named Buffalo Bop. Do you see how I did my arm? Just a watch. Oh, oh, oh. I dance. I dance. Oh. Hello, I dance. Uh, let's dance. Yes, yeah, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait. wait. Now we're going to see. How do you do? Yes. Did I just see your toes? Did I just see your toes stick up in the camera? You don't have shoes on. What kind of show are we running here? Oh, anyway, we're going to see this show called How They Do Me. We hope you enjoy it. Right, Georgie? Let go of my arms. It doesn't have shoes on. Okay, everybody, enjoy this show. Yeah. Say, kids, what time is it? <laughs> Cats and howdy, Buffalo Bob. Well, howdy there, Mr. Duty. And boys and girls at home and kids in the gallery, let's go. Yes, sir. And I add a boy, Clarabelle. Hooray for Clarabelle, kids, because today he's right on time here with our big halo shampoo carton. So that means that it's time for all of us to sing our halo song. So here we go. Come on, kids. Halo, everybody. And you know what we're going to see now? It's the special Halo movie about Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Ho, 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 ho! Halo, everybody! Halo Shampoo presents the real inside story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Young lady, you've eaten all of Junior's porridge. And busted his chair. And slept in my bed. Of course. I'm supposed to. I'm Goldilocks. She's not Goldilocks. Her hair isn't pretty. <laughs> Let's wash it and find out. Not with that. Soaping doll's hair. Halo glorifies it. Because Halo shampoo's not a soap or a cream. So it can't leave dulling soap film. Gee, look at the suds. If she's really Goldilocks, Halo shampoo will soon prove it. Now, let's take a look. It, it is, is Goldilocks. Goldilocks. Halo, everybody, halo. Halo is the shampoo that glorifies your hair. So, halo, shampoo, halo. Remember, soaping doll's hair. Halo glorifies it. Leaves it fragrant, dandruff-free, and wonderfully easy to manage. So, halo, everybody, halo. Halo, shampoo, halo. Oh, boy, I really like that movie. Well, kids, you know, things are getting back to normal around here in our circus. Gosh, oil well, Willie fixed up everything once again, and, and Don Jose Buster is finally talking yeah, straight again. Si, amigo, cuando se aldo. Oh, si, I am how they do there, and I am, and I am thankful to you and Buffalo Bob. Oh, well, you. don't thank us, Don Jose, because after all, we're good friends of yours. I, I'm just sorry that you ever started talking backwards. Oh, si, senor, it was my brother's fault. Finis, he started playing tricks on 
And then, all well Willie, he ended up playing one on us, senor. Yeah, gosh, that's right, boy. Oh, well, Willie, he was a sure a smart old codger, wasn't he? <laughs> oh, see me. Gosh, I wonder if we're ever going to see him again. Oh, I hope so, because he was lots of fun, senor. Boy, he was. Oh, well, that was... Listen, senor, I will see you later. I just want to thank you, senor. Oh, okay, Don Jose. Good, good luck, Don Jose. Bye-bye, senor. And kids... Of well, course, you know, Phineas T. Buster, he, he's all, t he's talking all right now again, too. And boy, I certainly hope this whole thing taught him a lesson. I hope it taught him not to play any more tricks because, you know, he started his whole business with that silly old giddy giddy water fountain of his. Yes, and I, oh, hiya, Mr. Buster. Yes, my boy, I, I guess it was all my fault. I'll never, never, never tell you any more fish stories about giddy giddy water fountains again. Well, gosh, I hope you mean that, Mr. Buster. I do. I do, Howdy. Absolutely, I do. And I hope that I never meet Oil Well Willie again. Yeah. I, I don't want any more of that boogleberry water. Ever. Yeah, well, never again. Mr. <laughs> Buster, if, if you don't ask for trouble, then maybe you won't get any trouble. Yes. I guess you're right, Howdy. And, and, and where did it get you, Mr. Buster? You, you tried to run off with my one thousand dollars, and see, and you tried to take over my circus. Yes, but I see? failed. I failed. I, I guess it. I guess it'll never, never ever be <laughs> the Bluster Brothers Circus. Oh now, Mr. Buster, don't talk I... bad about it. After all, we can still be friends. <laughs> and anyway, Mr. Buster, I've I've got some good news for you. Oh, you do? Real uh, good uh, news. Well, well, what's the good news, my boy? Well, now, now, now look, Mr. Busty. You yes. and Dilly Dally and the Flubber Dub and I, yes. well, we're all... Come here, Mr. Busty. I'll whisper in your ear. Yeah, we're, oh, we're right, all yeah, going to yeah. go on something. Yes. Ooh. Yes. Uh, what? Why do you like that? Uh, really, how do you... Uh, yes, honestly? sir, boy. Oh, that's, that, that's wonderful. That's that's right. Why, that's the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. Oh, but, 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 oh look. Tell me again. Tell well, me again. all right, Mr. Buster. Ahead, kids, well, would you excuse me a minute, kids, for whispering, but... Yeah, pardon you me. See, there's one person here that isn't supposed to hear about this. Now, now listen, Mr. Buster. Yes, go ahead. You and Dilly Dally and yes. the Bob and I. Uh. Oh, we're all going to be a very, very oh. special oh. oh! Well, that is wonderful, howdy. But... but, 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 but what is Clarabelle going to say? Well, I don't know. You see, Clarabelle isn't included in it, but... Well, gosh, there's nothing very much that I can do about it. Yeah. I don't know. Say, Clarabelle, for heaven's sakes, what's eating you? Clarabelle, what? What are you ripping up that newspaper for? Clarabelle, why do you tear the newspaper? What are you so excited about? What's the matter with you? What are you so excited about, Clarabelle? Well, gosh, Buff Bob, Clarabelle seems to know all about it already, so gosh, I might as well tell you and all the kids. Now, kids. Starting a week from next Sunday, a large number of the Sunday newspapers in our television cities are going to start carrying a Howdy Doody comic strip. A Howdy Doody comic strip. Kids, did you hear that? A Howdy Doody comic strip in some of the Sunday papers. Well, that's great, Howdy. Oh, it's wonderful. Marvelous, my boy. Oh, well, yeah, really see, except for one thing now. I told you, Mr. Buster, that you and yes. Dilly Dally and the Flub and I, well, we're going to be in the comic strip, but... Yes. But Clarabelle, I'm afraid Clarabelle is not going to be in the comic strip with us. Oh. Clarabelle, now, wait a minute. Is, is that so? Wait a minute, now, wait a minute. Aren't you going to be in the comic strip? You're not going... Now, look, calm down, please, a minute. Here, now, Clarabelle, now, now, hold it a minute, Clarabelle. Howdy, tell me, why won't Clarabelle be in the comic strip? Well, you see, it's very simple, Buffalo Bob, but... Gosh, I don't think there's very much we can do about it. You know, somebody has to draw the pictures for the comic strip so the kids can see all of our adventures. Well, we found two wonderful artists named Milt Neal and Chad Grothkopf. And they're going to draw all the pictures. The pictures of Dilly Dally and Mr. Buster and the Flubber Dub and me. But they won't draw any pictures of Clarabelle. Oh, they won't. Oh, well, Clarabelle, uh, why won't they draw any pictures of you? Now, listen, will you be quiet, please? I don't understand this. Why won't they draw any pictures of you, Clarabelle? Here's why. Here's why. What? 
Well, who are you? Milt Neal, Bob. Oh, Milt Neal. Well, wonderful. What, what is this, Milt? Well, Bob, I painted this thing about two years ago. I yeah. spent an awful lot of time on it. Hours, days, minutes. Beautiful. Gosh, Buffalo Bob, I spent so much time on it, and then yeah. this clown came along and... You. And sneaked up into my studio and painted these horns, this mustache... Clarabelle. This, and so forth on it. Why, this is the... You painted the original Mona Lisa. Well, that's just about it, Bob. My gosh, the original Da Vinci Mona Lisa. <laughs> well, <laughs> isn't yeah. that a beautiful painting in Clarabelle? Did you put the mustache and the glasses and the beard and the horns on Milk Neal's beautiful drawing here? You've ruined this gorgeous painting with mustaches, you silly clown. Milt, that's terrible. Yeah, Buffalo Bob, when they asked me oh. to draw the pictures of the Howdy Doody comic strip with the rest of the characters, we yeah. said, okay, but we won't draw any pictures of Clarabelle. Look, look, look what he did to me. My, my beautiful drawing. Look what he did. Gee, Milt, I, I know how you feel about it. And don't you stamp at Milt either, you silly clown. Look, look, look what you did to my painting. Clarabelle, look right now. Don't you stamp at Milt. Now, this is a gorgeous... Milt, I'm very, very sorry. I never knew that you did the original Da Vinci painting. Isn't that gorgeous? And to think that he... <gasps> well, look, will you do me a favor, Clarabelle, you silly clown? Would you do me a favor, Milt? Would you show me and would you show all the kids here just what the Howdy Doody comic strip is going to look oh, like? Of course, Bob. I'd be glad to draw anything for you, but Wonderful. I won't draw any pictures of Clarabelle. Not, I don't not blame one. you. I don't Absolutely blame you, Milt. Not. I, I wouldn't draw any no, either. Bob. Because when I think of the hours, oil painting takes a lot of work, doesn't oh, it? Oh, days. Days on end. And when you make things like that, and then for a silly clown to put glasses on, you know, I'm saying, oh, Bob, it really is nothing. And a beard. Stop. Hey, Buffalo Bob, stop. Yes, yes, sir. That's the seltzer bottle. Watch out, Bill. Duck. Oh, Bill. Duck. Oh, God. Bubble, bubble. you silly clown. What's the matter with you? Ooh. Oh, well, I, I guess Clarabelle doesn't like Milt. And Milt doesn't like Clarabelle, Howdy. But, but I guess the comic strip will be lots of fun without Clarabelle anyway, Howdy. But I, I, I do hope that Milt, well, I'll hope he'll come back and make some funny pictures for us. Oh, gosh, I certainly hope he will. If, yes. Maybe if we lock Clarabelle up in his room. Oh, yes. That's a good idea, Howdy. You silly clown. <laughs> Go away, Clarabelle. Go away and get lost, will you please? This lovely painting that he ruined. Oh, that's terrible. Oh, that silly clown. And if there's anything I hate after all these years, it's seltzer bottle all over my face and all over my hair. Oh, gosh. But say, Buffalo Bob, do you know what I heard? I heard that more and more kids are having their hair washed with Shalo shampoo. Say that again, Howdy. Ha oh, ha! I said with Halo shampoo. And boy, it sure is good, Mr. Smith. Because you see, kids, Halo hasn't got any stingy old soap in it. Oh, boy, no, sir. And it does such a quick, easy job of getting your hair clean that, well, boy, oh, boy, kids, you, you like having your hair washed with Halo. Ah, yes, sir, kids, Howdy is right. Because you know, boys and girls, Halo leaves no soapy film. <laughs> It really glorifies me. Yes, yeah, sir. Now, listen, kids, don't you worry a bit about Clarabelle. We're going to take care of him later. You just remember about Halo Shampoo, because Halo Shampoo, kids, really glorifies your hair. So now, look, you little fella, and you little girl, and you little sweetie, and all you kids out there at home, you be the very first kid in your block to get your mom to get you Halo. So, Halo, everybody, Halo. What did you think of that, Clarabelle? Look at Clarabelle, look at Clarabelle. What did you think of him putting glasses Stop on that beautiful drawing? Yes, sweetie, you come yeah. over here and you, you talk to me. What, what happened, sweetie? Clarabelle was over there. Yeah, well, Clarabelle's probably planning another trick, but don't you worry a bit about him, will you? Don't you worry about him, because you know, boys and girls, what we're going to do today, you know, every, every now and then, I get a nice letter from boys and girls in different parts of the country. And I received a letter today telling me that today, 
for the very first time, we're having boys and girls watch our Howdy Doody show in 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 more cities. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. So we'd like to say hello to all you wonderful boys and girls in Greensboro, North Carolina, and in Charlotte, South Carolina, and in Atlanta, Georgia, Birmingham, Alabama, Nashville, Tennessee, Jacksonville, Florida, St. Paul and Minneapolis, Minnesota, Davenport, Iowa, Omaha, Nebraska, Kansas City, Missouri, Ames, Iowa, and Huntington, West Virginia. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. So all those boys and girls are watching the Howdy Doody show for the very, very first time today. So we're very happy. And what do you think we ought to tell those boys and girls who are watching the show for the first time? About that silly Clarabelle? Uh -huh. yeah. How about this little fella? Sonny, you stand up here. Tell me, what, what is your name, little boy? Johnny. Johnny. All right, Johnny, what, what would you like to tell all these new boys and girls about that silly Clarabelle? Well, I'd like to, tell, like to tell him that it squirts the seltzer bottle all the time. He always squirts that silly yeah. seltzer bottle all over my face. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? You know very well that you, you you can't you can't get back. I mean, I'm I'm not your friend anymore. Forget it. You mean you were bad before and you want to be nice now? You know you can't play that thing anyway, Clarabelle. So why don't you take it? I'm going to see if you can play something. Now wait a minute, Clarabelle. I get my set of bells here. I'm going to play three bells and I'm going to see whether you could find those three notes on the xylophone. All right, now you listen, listen. Try to find. Those. No. 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 Clarabelle, now listen, listen. Try to hit these three notes. Listen, listen, Clarabelle, listen. Try it. Hey, very, very good, Clarabelle. Do you happen to know what song that is? What is it? Ha ha! Yes, sir, kids, and Clarabelle is right. It's the song for the big three-in-one, Three Musketeers! <laughs> Yes, sir, kids, Clarabelle was right for once. So come on, let's all sing our wonderful Three Musketeers song, and you kids join us, will you please? All right, here we go. Come on now. Oh, one, two, three. Good, boys and girls. Well, you know, you kids actually told us the wonderful story of the Three Musketeers yourselves when you just sang that. Because three big pieces for three times the candy-eating fun. And here, kids, is what you look for when you're at your favorite candy counter, that famous Three Musketeers wrapper. And remember, three big pieces, and it costs only a nickel for the biggest and the very best in candy-eating fun. So you remember that, kids, will you? And I... Oh, the doorbell. Somebody's at the door. I wonder who this is. Oh, I wonder who it is. Hello? Hi, well, hello. Oh, you're back again. You? I'd like to have you meet my friend, Chad. How are you? Oh, this is Chad Growth Cup. Well, good to see you, Chad. Milt! Well, it's good to I'm see you, awfully Robert. sorry that you nearly got squirted there by Clarabelle. Please well, was, forgive me, will you please? Awful close, yes, Bob. now uh, you're back here, and, and, and you and Chad are going to be doing the comic strip. Kids, would you like to see two real artists at work and see just exactly how they draw the comic yeah. strips that we see Sundays in the papers? All right, well, go ahead. Suppose you draw some pictures for us now, would you? Oh, we'll put them together. Huh? All right, now let's uh, let's see which one of you kids can be the first one to tell me. Who are they drawing now, kids? Yes, sir, that is Howdy Doody himself. Ah, very nice and very nicely done there, fellas. Now, don't forget, kids, that's a week from this coming Sunday. You watch your Sunday paper, and let's hope that you'll see our little pal Howdy Doody in it. Ah, very nicely done. I beg your pardon? Autograph and give it to the children. Autograph it and give it to one of the kids. Well, I'll be very, very happy here. We'll put down Howdy Doody. 
and Bob Smith. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll give this to one of the boys and girls after the show. We'll have a little contest or something. All right, fine. Okay, now let's uh, now let's see what you want to have. Now wait, 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 flub, flub. All right, the flub. flub. Okay, now watch, kids. This is the flub a dub coming to life. You see the flower pot there, kids? Gee, I'm glad that Clarabelle won't be in the comic strip, aren't you, kids? Yeah. Yeah. It was Flubadub. And the cat's whiskers. And the little cat's whiskers. How do you like that, kids? Isn't that wonderful? Yeah. Oh, that's great. All right, fellas, we'll autograph that a little bit later, and we'll give it to some of the boys and girls after the show. Now, what would you like, Bob? Let's not tell who this one is, and let's see which one of the kids is first to tell us, okay? All right, now, wait a minute, kids. Well, it might be. It, 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 couldn't, it, it could be somebody else, though, you know. It could be Dilly Dally, because Dilly Dally's going to be in, too. What do you think it is? Yes, you were right. This is Mr. Bluster coming to life. Ah, yes, sir. Now, you kids, you'll be looking for, for Mr. Bluster and for Dilly Dally and Howdy Doody and all the gang in your Sunday paper a week from this coming Sunday. What happened to Dilly Dally and Flubbin' Dog? That up, boy, Mr. Bluster. Okay, Milt. And now, who do you think this one's going to be, kids? Dilly Dally! Dilly Dally is coming up right now. Yes, sir. Dilly Dally! Say, you fellas, uh... You've, uh, you've done this before, haven't you, fellas? A, little a couple bit, of them. Uh, yeah, I thought so. I could tell there, Mill. <laughs> huh? Ah, oh, that's wonderful. There is our little pal, Dilly Dally. Well, that's wonderful, fellas. So then these are the four fellas who are going to be in the comic strips. Is that right? That's right. Yeah, but not Clarabelle, right? Oh, yeah, we're going to put Clarabelle and Bob. What? Wait a yeah, minute. Yeah. Wait, 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 listen, kids. To, wait, we've just been playing a joke on Clarabelle Bob. Well, I'm going to put Clarabelle in anyway. We've drawn Clarabelle here, you see. Oh, oh we've right back here. Clarabelle. Clarabelle. Oh, Clarabelle. Clarabelle don't know it. Bob. Oh, I see. He's well, look, in the strip. Tell you what, let's do, Milt. And Chad, let's, let's have a little more fun with Clarabelle, huh? Now, look, he put a mustache on your painting, didn't he? Right. All right, now, look, I've, I've got a mustache right here. And let, let me put this on Clarabelle right like this. See? Now, we'll have some fun with Clarabelle. He had fun with us. So we're going to put a great big mustache out of there. How's that, kids? Now, 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 don't say anything, all right? Uh, Clarabelle! Oh, Clarabelle! Uh, Clarabelle, look, I've, I've got some news for you, Clarabelle. Clarabelle, I've got good news for you. You know we got a surprise for you. You are going to be in the comic strip after all. Right. Isn't that good? Yeah, now don't, don't get too excited. Clarabelle, do you want to look? Look, Clarabelle, look. How do you like that? <laughs> How do you like that, Clarabelle? <laughs> thing anyway. You're going to be in the comic strip and, and there's not going to be a mustache on. I just did that to be silly. Oh, you can play a joke, but nobody can ever play a joke on you. Ugh. Howdy. Look at this silly clown. And you realize poor Milt? Poor Milt almost got hit with a seltzer bottle a second time. You silly clown. Now go and start a movie for us in the scope doodle. Hurry up. What's the matter? Start a movie. Oh, you're in the comic strip now. You don't have to do any more work on the show. Well, all right, go away. Milt! Go on, get out of here, Clarabelle. Milt! Yeah, Bob. Would yeah. you do me a favor? Yeah. Uh, kids, would you like to see how they... Get yeah. out of here, Clarabelle. Get out. Get lost, please. <laughs> kids, would you like to see how... Uh, how they make movies in Hollywood? 
Milt, do you think you could show us how they draw an old-time movie? Oh, I think so, Bob. All right, now, now you watch, kids, and Milt Neal is going to show you just how we make an old-time movie. Now watch, watch kids. This. Now watch. Watch what we're going to do here. And don't forget now, you boys and girls, you're going to be seeing the Howdy Doody comic strip a week from this Sunday in many of our television city papers. Old time movie. Oh, that's wonderful, Milt. And kids, there is the old time movie. Thanks very much, Milt Neal. And Chad Growth Cup. Good luck to you fellas, and we'll be seeing you in the funny papers. Well, now, kids, here we have a movie today of the Smith family. And I think you remember our, our pal Jimmy Smith. See, our pal Jimmy Smith has invited over his brother, and his brother came over with a lot of dogs, and he's going to do a lot of tricks. Now, this is one of the tricks that he does. He puts a little doggy into a machine, and he grinds it up, and what do you think comes out? Hot dogs, that's right. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, sir. Oh, look, see, he, he's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve, kids. Tricks like, uh, oh, little silly old flower, and when people go to smell the flower, he presses the bulb and the water shoots out. Just like Clarabelle. He's, he's a skinny type Clarabelle, this fellow. So now he's going to do another act here with a little uh, kitty. And actually, the cat wasn't supposed to be there. The cat came out too soon. So Jimmy is trying to call the cat. He says, Kitty, come on out here. He says, look, I've got some nice fresh salmon for you. And of course, that got the cat. So now they're watching him entertain. They think it's very funny. Little Bobby, she came out on the stage too early, too. We got a cat, too. Look at those cute little doggies. Aren't they cute? We got a cat. So she says, forward, march! So the audience says, ah, that was wonderful of me up the Little doggy jumps through the hoop. And the little doggy jumped in there backwards. Did you see that? That's a pretty good trick. <laughs> Bobby went to take her little bow, and the little doggy came out and happened to knock her over. And everybody says, ah, oh, that's a wonderful show. Now watch. Now, little Bobby is holding this very expensive vase, and there's a little fly on her leg, and it's starting to itch her. She can't scratch it, of course, because she needs both her hands to hold that face. Or is it a vase? What is it? Oh, it's nothing. It's shambles. Well, kids, it looks like that's all the time for the movie we have today, but we'll be showing you the rest of it someday real soon. You know, movies are fun, aren't they? Do you like movies, Sonny? Oh, you betcha we all like movies. But you know, kids, something else that's fun, too. As a matter of fact, boys and girls, here is something that's not only fun, but it's three times the fun. It's our big three musketeers. And I'm going to let this little boy right next to me try it. But first, kids, I want to show you something. Now, when you take that wrapper off a three musketeer box, oh, boy, then the real fun starts. Because now watch, kids, how it breaks into three pieces. One, two, and three. Ah, yes, sir. And now, how about this little fella? 
Come on, Sonny, you just taste that delicious, tempting, pure milk chocolate coating. And then inside, mmm, that good, rich cocoa nougat. And it's all so delicious. And all, of course, means all three big, delicious peaches. So now, kids, you remember that it only costs a nickel. So, boys and girls, you remember, when you want the biggest and the very, very best in candy-eating fun, then you look up kids and get the Big Three Musketeers. Oh, gosh, kids, there goes the cuckoo. Well, it's time to go. Oh, hi, Inspector. Uh, hi, Hardy. Hey, say, look. Yeah, what? Look over there. Oh, gosh. What's what? coming down? What? I'm Clarabelle. What? Well, look, that. Well, you know what that is? That's the Fetter Man's headdress. The Fetter Man's headdress? Oh, for heaven's sakes, I... I wonder what that means. Television. <laughs> Can't this place afford to buy new shoes? But don't you get caught in the winter time? Okay, we're going to watch another episode of Howdy Doody, everybody. Well, I look for him to pump his shoes. Okay. <laughs> I scare you. I scare you like the clown. Say, kids, what time is it? <laughs> well, howdy, doody, kids, and howdy, Buffalo Bob. Well, howdy there, Mr. Doody, and boys and girls at home and all my kids in the gallery, let's go. And Doody, boys and girls, and howdy doody from our friend Snap, Crackle, and Pop. Yes, sirree, kids, we're all ready to do the Kellogg's Rice Krispies March. So let's go! Kellogg's Rice Krispies, Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Let's march right into the table now. Rice Krispies taste the best, and how? Snap, Crackle, Pop. Mmm, Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Rice Krispies mean more fun and pep. So come on, gang, let's get in step. Snap, crackle, pop. Mmm, <laughs> Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Add milk or cream, that's all you do. Then listen to them talk to you. Snap, crackle, pop. Mmm, Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Kellogg's Rice Krispies, Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Oh, yes, sir, kids. It's fun to eat Kellogg's Rice Krispies. In all the world, there's only one talking cereal. And, boy, it's good for you, too. So you join in the fun, kids, and get in on the happy parade to the breakfast table for Kellogg's Rice Krispies. That a boy, howdy. Well, now, kids, it's time to show you the biggest joke of the year. Yes, sir, kids, Phineas T. Bluster's joke. Oh, yes, sir, kids, you know, once again, Mr. Bluster thought that he could fool us. And once again, boy, he was wrong. Now, Mr. Bluster still doesn't know that we found out the truth about his grandmother. But, ho, ho, kids, here it is. Ah, uh, yes, sir, howdy and kids. Now, just look over here. Now, all this week, you know, Mr. Bluster has been giving out pictures of Grandma Bluster. Now, I really should say he's been 
trading pictures because you see, kids, Clarabelle had to give Mr. Buster 25 seltzer bottles in exchange for the picture. Oh, and also, Mr. Buster, you see, he, he didn't have room to hide the bottles. So the Flub-a-Dub, Flub hid 10 bottles. And in exchange for the picture, of course. And then, too, Flub-a-Dub Jr. hid five of the bottles. In exchange for a picture, of course. And Mr. Buster was all ready to give out more pictures yesterday. When I found out the truth, kids, I saw the picture in this book, and now we know that Grandma Bluster is not Grandma Bluster, it's the Whistler's mother. Oh, uh, yes, it? sir, kids. Now, you can see the two pictures are exactly alike. Oh, and kids, about 70 years ago, a wonderful artist named James Whistler painted this portrait of his mother. And, well, it has become one of the most famous paintings of all time. And you know, Buffalo Bob, yeah, we better visit the art museums regularly right. from now on. Because all of those great paintings are so beautiful to see. I'm embarrassed. And there's plenty to learn, Princess, as we just found out. Oh, boy, that's right. Well, kids, now that we've gone this far, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, next we have to tell Mr. Buster that we figured out his trick. And that we have to find out what he wanted those 25 seltzer bottles for. Now, he still has them, you know, kids. <laughs> oh, Princess, there's Mr. Bluster now. Kids, we're going to have some fun with him. Now, watch this, kids. Watch, watch, watch. Uh, hello, howdy, my boy. Well, hello, you? hello Mr. Uh, Bluster. Uh, oh, well, hello. How are you, my favorite buffalo? Well, I... I mean, my favorite boob. Oh. Oh, no, 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 my favorite bob. Oh, well, I, I'm uh, fine, uh, and I... I like you, too, Mr. Buster. Oh, well, that's you nice know, to know. As a matter of fact, I like you so much... Yes? ...that sometimes I sort of wish that I had been your grandfather. Yes. <laughs> what do you mean, What do you mean? Well, you see, Mr. Buster, if I had been your grandfather... Yes? Well, that means, of course, that I would have married your grandmother. I you know that. that lovely, lovely lady, Grandma Bluster. Yes, of course. Yes, yes. 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 You know, as a matter of fact, I, uh... Yes, my boy? I noticed something in your hand here. This, Oh, uh, oh yes. Couldn't, uh, perchance, mayhap... Perhaps? ...be uh, another picture of Grandma Bluster, could it? Well, that seems odd, Mr. Bluster, because if you remember the other day, when you gave me the picture of Grandma yeah. Bluster, yeah. you said it was the very last picture that you had. Yes, I, I did, Buffalo Bob, but... Oh, oh I, I know, I know. This morning, you just happened to find another picture of Grandma Bluster. Is that right? Yes. Uh, yes. How did you know? How did and you the that? other day, when you gave a picture to Clarabelle... Yes. ...and another one to the flub dub Yes. ...and another one to the flub dub Junior... Uh, 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 it just so... Know? Uh, 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 how did you know? Yeah, well, now, look. I know what happened. You just happened to find three more of the same pictures. Is that right? Wait a minute. What? I demand to be heard. You haven't even given me a chance to say a oh, word. Not one Buster. word. There's only one thing you're going to have a chance to say. <laughs> you are going to tell us what you did with those 25 seltzer bottles. No. No, 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 and no. No. No, I won't tell you. The cells are about to mine, do you hear? Yeah. Buffalo Bob, they're all mine, all yeah. 25 of them. And I'll do whatever I want with them, and my business is my all own. Right, and now, I'm look, not Mr. Bluster, now wait a minute. What are you doing with those 25 seltzer bottles? Uh, piddle de punk. Oh, answer me, Mr. Bluster. Piddle de punk. Now, look, we know that you have got 25 seltzer bottles that belong to Clarabelle. Piddle de punk. Tanner in the Flubber Dubs cage. Piddly punk. And five are in Flubber Dub Junior's cage. Piddly punk. And you're hiding the other ten somewhere. <laughs> Piddly punk. Yeah, now look. <laughs> Those bottles belong to Clarabelle, and we want them back. Piddly punk, piddly punk. <laughs> now, Mr. Buster, now punk. wait a minute. What are you laughing at? What am I laughing at? Yeah. <clears throat> uh, Buffalo Bob, I have news for you, my boy. Huh? Yes. Bend the near. Buffalo Bob, the bottles do not belong to Clarabelle. Now wait, they belong now to wait, me, now me, wait, me, 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 me. Clarabelle, look, you're never going to squirt again, are you? For sure. Huh. There you see, of course not, Mr. Buster. Huh. Clarabelle has promised never again to squirt. Oh, really? And he's also kept his promise perfectly. Huh? But the bottles still belong to Clarabelle. 
Oh, really? And I want Clarabel to have them back. I mean, maybe, maybe Clarabel could sell them or something. <laughs> but in any case, you're going to return those bottles to Clarabel. Oh, I am not in watch who you're pushing. No. You seem to forget, Junior, that the bottles now belong to little bitsy me. Now look, I don't believe it, Mr. Bluster. I say they belong to my pal Clarabel. They're mine. Mine, 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 and I'll prove it. Clarabelle, Clarabelle and I made a very fair and square trade. I gave Clarabelle one picture of Grandma Bluster. Clarabelle took the picture happily, and in exchange, Clarabelle gave me uh, those 25 seltzer bottles. Clarabelle kept the picture, I kept the seltzer bottles. And I'm gonna keep them. Oh. Anyway, oh, calm down, Clarabelle. Clarabelle, my boy, I didn't rob your seltzer bottles. I made a fair trade. You and I talked the whole thing through first, didn't we? And you agreed that you wanted to make the trade. All right. So we made it. Now, you wait a minute, Mr. Bluster. I'll wait. It but... was not a fair trade. Clarabelle Tell said that he would give you 25 seltzer bottles, right? Right. And Clarabelle gave you 25 seltzer bottles, right? Right. And you said that you would give him a picture of Grandma Bluster, right? Oh, right. But you didn't give it to him. I did so, I now, did so, minute. I did. You did not give him a picture of Grandma Bluster. I did you. Oh, I did so. I, I gave him Grandma Bluster. No, you didn't, Mr. Bluster. You gave him Whistler's mother. Grandma Bluster. Whistler's mother. Grandma Bluster. Whistler's mother. Grandma Bluster. A Bluster. Oh. Oh, Whistler. Bluster. Oh, piddle de punk. I'm not admitting anything. All right, now, Mr. Bluster, now. Huh. All right, you don't have to admit anything. Oh, now, yeah. we know the truth. Oh, and yeah. you did not keep your end of the bargain. Ew. Now, you didn't give Clarabelle the picture that you promised to give him, so you spoiled the trade. No, 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 no. Now, it wasn't a real trade, and to prove it, yeah. instead of your yelling like this, I'm going to call in a sheriff. Yeah, but, uh, a sheriff? Yeah, and then we'll let somebody from outside the circus decide this thing. Oh, but, uh, somebody fair and square, we're going to get Sheriff Lanky Lou. Uh, but, 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 and if Sheriff Lou says that you should keep the bottles, well, then you can keep them. Oh, but, good. But... Yes. If Sheriff says that you should give them back to Clarabelle, then, then Clarabelle gets them. But, but, no, no, now, no, 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 no. that's the only no, fair no. way, Mr. No, Buster. no, no, I... No. Well, all right. Good. I still say that I'm right. I'm always right. I'm... Phineas T. Yeah, and, and, and we'll call you later when, when Lanky Lou arrives. <laughs> All that Mr. Bluster kids. We're going to get those bottles back, believe me, and don't you worry about it. Because a man has to keep his word, doesn't he, kids? Yeah! When a man promises something, he's got to keep his word, and Mr. Bluster did not. Well, look, we'll forget all about Mr. Bluster for just a second. Say, I want to ask you kids something. Now, look, all of you look at me for a half a second and tell me something. Now, who is it who says, kids, I'm America's number one private eye? Who says that? The inspector, that's right, and say, do you know what the inspector's been doing lately, kids? He's been investigating to find out how many talking cereals there are. And say, the inspector says there's only one in all the world, and it's our good friend, Kellogg's Rice Krispies. And he says that he's going to tell you about it just as soon as we do our Kellogg's Rice Krispies march. Is that right, inspector? Right. <laughs> Kellogg's Rice Krispies, Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Yes, sir. All they show, can't turn down and let my joke. Snap, crackle, pop. Kellogg's uh, Rice Krispies. Yes, sir. Kellogg's <laughs> Rice Krispies. Oh, Kellogg's Rice Krispies, Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Tomorrow, keep your breakfast date with good Rice Krispies. Boy, they're great. Snap, crackle, pop. Kellogg's Rice Krispies, Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Now, add milk or cream, that's all you do. And listen to him talk to you. Snap, crackle, pop. Kellogg's Rice Krispies, Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Ah, boys and girls, Kellogg's Rice Krispies are good for you, too. And I know they're America's only talking cereal because I am America's number one. 
private eye. Ah, yes, sir, that's right, Inspector. Thank you. And say, now, don't forget, kids, if you want to have fun eating breakfast, you ask your mom to get you Kellogg's Rice Krispies right away, won't you? Yeah. Ah, that's the way. Now, look, Clarabelle, we definitely have got a problem. We've got to go out. I want you to go out for me and find Lanky Lou. Will you do that, please? Now, I have no idea where he is, but I know that he's in town somewhere. And we need him today. Yes, and Clarabelle, he's very tall. You're right. And you'll see him, I hope. Yes. Fine. Okay, right. you Thanks, go Clarabelle. Now. Bye. Good luck. Yes. Good luck. Oh, and look, Buffalo Bob, uh, while we're waiting, you know, the princess and I have made up some new riddles for the kids, so how about our riddle game? Well, all right. Say, kids, would you like to try some riddles with the princess and me? Oh, you get the presents okay. all set, Princess. And now look, you boys and girls at home, you play along with us. You try to get the answers. See if you can get them quicker than the kids in the gallery do. And say, now, all you boys and girls, you be all ready to raise your hand. Now, only raise your hand when you think that you know the right answer. Only raise your hand when you think you know the right answer. All right, the first one with the right answer wins. Go ahead, how do you start it? Okay, kids. Oh, hi, daddle, daddle. Let's tell a rattle. Let's tell a funny one. You'll be gigging, and I'll come in, and we'll all have a barrel of fun. Ho oh, ho! And here's the first riddle, kids. Now, what kind of a band never plays music? Who knows? What kind of a band never plays music? This little girl. What kind of a band never plays music? That doesn't ever want to. A band that doesn't want to? No. no, that isn't right. How about this little girl right in front of you? Sweetie, what kind of a band never plays music? A banjo. <laughs> no, this is just a band, not a not a band, a band. Uh, this uh, this little boy over here, what's, what what is it? Panda. A panda. No, not panned. Not what kind of a panned. What kind of a band? This little boy. A rubber band. A rubber band. Oh. And stand up and tell us what's your name, Sonny. Norman Burson. All right, Normie. You've got a nice present. Oh, what have we got I for him? look, Buffalo Bob, what we've got for Norman. A beautiful Howdy Doody watch. And you know, kids, this is the Howdy Doody watch with the movable eyes. Yes, sir. Oh, isn't that one? All right. Well, here you are, little fella, for the rubber band. Nice going. Oh. And how about you, Princess? You said you had a riddle, too, for the oh, kids. Oh, I do, Buffalo All right. Bob. Go right ahead. Listen, boys and girls. Hi, diddle, diddle. Let's tell a riddle. Let's tell a funny one. You begin, then I'll come in, and we'll all have a barrel of fun. Okay? Now, my riddle is, why is a dog like a penny. Why is a dog like a penny? Who knows? Why is a dog like a penny? This little girl was first. Because, she, because he's as heavy as a penny. A dog's as heavy as a penny? <laughs> no. Dog's a little heavier than a penny, but that's not the right answer, Dolly. Uh, this little boy up here was second. Sonny, why? They call a uh, dog's penny. Penny. You mean uh, because someone might call a dog Penny? Oh. No, that's not the right. Now, wait a minute. This little fellow up here is all excited about this one. What do you think, Sonny? It has a head and a tail. It has a head and a tail. Well, now, that's exactly right because there's a head on one side and there's a tail on the other, isn't oh, there? Oh, good. Well, sure there is. What's your name, Sonny? Elliot Mankiewicz. All right, what do we got for Elliot? Look what we have. Oh, isn't is he going really? to enjoy this? Now, yeah. watch this, Elliot. Now, watch. Keep your eye on this. Watch this, kids. Oh, look and he never misses getting up. <laughs> he nearly did, though, didn't he? Yeah, you better be careful there, fella. All right, here you are, Sonny, and there you are. Okay, well, nice going, Princess. Now, look, that's about all the time we have for riddles today, but uh, howdy, look, all the kids over here in the gallery tried so hard. You know that? Oh, yeah, and, and we have a present for everyone in the peanut gallery, kids. Oh, yes, sir, kids, right after the show. We're going to give out copies of our brand new December issue of the Howdy Doody comic book. Featuring wonderful stories about Dilly Dally and, and Mr. Bluster and, and the Flava Dob. Ah, oh, yes, sir, kids. We'll have a copy for you right after the show, okay? Oh, yes, Clarabelle. Did, did you find Blanky Lou? Oh, you did. Is he going to be here? Movie. Oh, you mean after the movie? Oh, good. All right, then, listen, kids. We're going to wait until after the movie... Lanky Lou will be here with Mr. Bluster, and we'll settle our problem. Yes, Clarabel, what? Now it's time. Here. Oh, Halo. Oh, kids, I know. Clarabel wants to remind me that now it's time for us to remind Howdy about Halo. So let's all say Halo Howdy real loud. Come on, kids. Halo Howdy! Oh, well, Halo and Howdy Doody and Halo to you, kids. 
Kids, today, Halo Shampoo, the shampoo with not a bit of soap in it, presents a brand new Halo movie. And boy, it's the squalest thing you ever saw. It's all about Sir Lancelot and the dragon. Ho ho! Halo, everybody, Halo. Halo Shampoo presents the true story of Sir Lancelot and the dragon. <laughs> hey, look at yonder maiden. A lady in distress to the rescue. <laughs> Fair lady, your slightest wish is our command. What causes your grief? Look, my hair. What evil spell has dulled your tresses? I know not. I just washed it, too, with this. With that? Don't you know soaping dulls hair? Halo glorifies it. Halo is not a soap or oily cream, so it can't leave a dulling soap film. Made with a patented ingredient, Halo needs no special rinse. And quickly removes loose dandruff. <sighs> Halo leaves my hair so soft and shining and wonderfully easy to manage. Why not glorify your hair with wonderful Halo Shampoo? Halo Shampoo, Halo! Oh, and kids, that dragon certainly knew what he was talking about when he said that soaping dulls hair, but Halo glorifies it. And kids, Halo Shampoo does just that. Halo washes your hair so shiny and clean, so quick and easy, that it's honest to goodness glorious. So kids, when mom goes shopping tomorrow, you'll be sure to have her get for you Halo Shampoo. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, Clarabelle, you start up the scope doodle. That's the way. And Howdy, what are you going to do? Well, I'll tell you, Buffalo Bob, I'm, I'm going to make sure that Mr. Buster's right here where I'm standing when Lanky Lou arrives to decide who gets the seltzer bottles. That a boy, Howdy. Oh, and say, Clarabelle, before you show the movie. Now, kids, look. We have added the second piece to our jigsaw puzzle. Now, you watch. Tomorrow we're going to add another one, and it's going to mean important news for everybody next week. <laughs> and now, kids, it's time for our old-time movie. So come on in, boys and girls, so you can get a good look-see at the movie that we started to show you yesterday. Now, this was the one about our buddy, Harry Langdon. And Harry Langdon, he was out in the field. You see, uh, Harry and his buddy were both invited over to his buddy's girlfriend's house. Now, it so happens that uh, Harry was a, a buck private, and his good friend was a sergeant. And the sergeant had an invitation from his girlfriend to come over for dinner and bring a friend. And the sergeant was also told that he should bring anybody that he wanted to bring. So the sergeant looked all over for someone and he just couldn't find anybody. So he brought along Harry and Harry and the sergeant went over to see the sergeant girlfriend and they had a very, very lovely dinner over there. But as they finished dinner, it seems that uh, a siren blew and all the boys had to get back to duty. So Harry is right now out in the field. Doesn't like the looks of this. Two legs sticking up, and look who it is. It's his buddy, the sergeant. So the sergeant says, tell him what I want you to do, Harry. I want you to go over there to suicide post. And Harry says, well, I know I'm the man of you think I better I will. So Harry goes over to this very spooky place, and the sergeant says, good luck to you, Harry. So Harry is on his way over to suicide post. Very, very spooky place. Look out, Harry. Somebody's following Harry with a searchlight. Oh, that one just missed him. He says, no, maybe I better not ask for any more trouble. Oh, they find Harry 
on top of suicide post. They've got the searchlight on them. Oh. Did you see that shell? Just missed Harry. Look out, Harry. Here comes another. Look out, Harry. Harry, boy, look out. Here comes another shell at you, Harry. Duck. And... Boy, he just got out of that one in time. Oh. He says, uh oh, that's where my foot was. So look out, Harry. Harry. And suicide post was knocked over, but thank heaven, Harry got out okay. Just then, Harry was about to lunge that bayonet into this man, and look who it is. Harry saved the Colonel's life. And the Colonel was so proud of Harry that he promoted him from Buck Private to a lieutenant. A first lieutenant. He couldn't play second, they didn't have a part written. So now, uh-oh, Harry went over right away to show off his new uniform to the sergeant's girlfriend. And as Harry gets over there, he happens to notice that the sergeant is there. And Harry says, aha, you've got to respect me now. You've got to salute me, see? I'm a lieutenant. But the sergeant says, yeah, I'll respect you. Oh, did you see what happened? <laughs> Just as the sergeant was about to... <laughs> It's Harry. The colonel came by again, and the sergeant hit the colonel. So, just then, we see them again in the theater. The sergeant, if you remember, kids, was about to rob the theater when Harry Langdon came by. And they did so much talking about the army days that Harry stalled until the policeman got there. And you see what happens, kids. The policemen are there in time to catch the sergeant, we hope. No, the policeman missed getting the sergeant. Well, anyway, here's the girlfriend. The girlfriend who was originally the sergeant's girlfriend. And then Harry's girlfriend is now wheeling two fellas down the street and look who the two fellas are. Harry and the sergeant in a baby carriage. As the armistice parade goes on, and the boys come marching home. Well, that was kind of a silly movie, but I think it was a very, very good one. Say, you know, kids, now having your hair washed is something that, well, it's something that just has to be done whether you like it or not. But say, kids, look over here. Now here, kids, I have a bottle of Halo shampoo. And believe me, kids, this is one of the easiest ways that I can think of to wash your hair really, really clean. Yes, sir, kids, Halo gets your hair so clean, so fast, that, well, it's really fun having your hair washed with Halo shampoo. So Halo, everybody, Halo. Glad you're here, and, and, and Sheriff, I, I'll go get Mr. Buster right away. Now, you stay here. Okay, fine. Say, uh, Lou, oh, you know I'm this whole story? Yes, indeed, I do. You yes. do? Well, now, yes. look, it's, it's, it's pretty simple. You see what happened is this. Now, first, yeah. Mr. Buster gave me a picture. And then I, me, and then me. And then Carabelle, and, 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 and then the pictures. princess. Yeah? And he said that the picture was of Grandma Bluster. Oh, Grandma Bluster. Grandma, Grandma Bluster, Bluster. Actually, that, yeah. That's what he told us, see? But it was really... Whistler's mother. 
Whistler's oh. mother. See? Right. Mother, Whistler's she mother. Uh -huh. So, actually, what happened is, Bluster fooled us. I see, indeed he did. I yes, see now, he, he tricked Clarabelle out of 25 seltzer bottles. Now, what's your decision? Well, now, I just can't decide, so I hear Bluster's side of the story. Oh. Oh, here he is now. Here he is. Uh, I say the bottles are mine. Mine, 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 mine. Is that all you got to say? Boom, yes. Yes, they're mine. Mine, mine, I say. If I was smart enough to fool Clarabelle, then I win. I win. I win, I win, I win. Do you hear me? Well, man, I've heard the case. Yes, sir, and Sheriff Lanky Lewis decided. Mr. Bluster, you were smart. But you know something? The man you fooled was yourself. Yes. Now listen, folks, let me explain what I meant by that. Yeah? It's against the law to give out a picture of a sweet lady like Whistler's mother yeah. and tell people that it's Grandma Bluster. Yeah. So, Clarabelle, yeah. those sorts of butlers are yours. Hey! Hooray, Clarabelle! NBC Television. Okay, now let's dance. Let's dance. Yes. Put on your shoes and make the move. Let's dance. Everybody sing now. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, bum. <laughs> We got to sign off this week for Georgie TV on, on the Publisher Theater, right? Paul! Yay! Theater. That was a great show! Yay. Yay! That was so good. I liked that show a lot, didn't you? Now just get up and play with our Thundercats. We're playing with these undercats, but right now we want to thank Wait. everybody on the How Do You Do This Show. Wait, <laughs> I'll tell you guys something. I'm gonna get off the camera.